um, we're doing fajitas. So we put chicken in the crock pot because when you're busy, that's what you do. Super Crock easy. pot saves your life. Um, for I do four chicken breasts. I just put them in there. We threw in some pico de gallo, um, and just I made a bunch of um, a Pinterest, um, a bunch of seasonings for uh, fajitas, and I kind of make my own. Look at this, Betty Crocker. It has a whole bunch of different stuff. And it's super cute. And it's super cute, right? So it, it, I won't even rattle off all the things that are in it. Cumin, paprika, paprika. <laughs> um, all kinds of different chili stuff. Powder chili powder. Chili powder, yeah, a whole bunch of stuff. Um, but anyway, it's on Pinterest. And um, so we're just going to, that's been cooking all day on high, and so it's nice and tender and delicious now. And so now we've got some refried beans we're just going to throw in here. And heat up, and we're trying to stay low carb-ish. I know beans have carbs, but um, if if that's the carb, that that's fine. I don't normally do tortillas, just because. And um, we are also doing our show with our two small boys, five and one are their ages. The five-year-old obviously taking care of the one-year-old. Um. Anyway, so we're gonna chop some peppers. And um, I just have a little one because I was going to do a different recipe with them, but I happen to have them so I'm going to come. We got an onion, a lime, cheese, pico de gallo, of course, and guacamole, which is my husband's favorite, and that's why I it's love it too. Kind of almost gone. very good healthy fats. Yes, makes your skin glow. Anyway, and then of course we have some chips because you know. And our favorite kind that we like oh, yes. is Juanitas. They're gluten free, which is great for a paleo yes. diet or if you have any allergies. Yeah. And they're almost like restaurant chips. They have a nice crunch and they're salty. Yeah. They're, they're really you good. You can eat like the whole bag before you even know yeah. it. So they that, can be dangerous. <laughs> That's not good, but it's, they're good. Yeah, they're really good. good. Recommend them. Yes. Anyway, super good. Um, yeah, so we're just going to slap this all together and then we'll show you what kind of mess we made. Okay, I'm going to get a close-up on Danielle chopping the peppers. She has this small little peppers. Just um, California grown sweet mini peppers. So they're not going to be really too spicy. It would be perfect um, for fajitas for the whole family. Yes. If you want spicy, you can add a different kind of pepper. We have some marshmallow mouse with the little ones, so we don't normally go too spicy. Yeah. Hey, no, no. That's added afterwards with the salsa. Anyway. How many are you going to put in here? You know what? I don't know. Do you like a lot of peppers? Um, not you really. Like, yeah, I'm kind of the same way. The onion's kind of my favorite part. Yeah, I love onion. Um, I feel like if there's too many peppers, it gets overbearing. And I then it kind of so makes my taste buds angry. Yeah, we don't want to do that. But I do like a little bit of peppers in there. So we'll throw in a few for some color. And, um, and then we'll chop them in Let's see what we got going on over here. We have the big uh, hula hoop once again. There's the one year old <laughs> and there's the five year old. He's obviously entertaining him and keeping him busy. Keeping him out of the garbage can for now. So, so my child's not eating garbage. <laughs> no, I get myself. Anyway, back over here. Just All right. That's probably good for now. Super dull. Babe, I need to have you sharpen my knives. So we got some uh, refried beans. Just are they just warming up in here? So you don't yeah. really cook these, right? They're just. I just up. warm them up, yeah, because they're already ready to go. Um, I like, also pretty... like to use avocado oil. Um, olive oil is great too, but um, I kind of like flip flop between the two. Um, they're both really healthy. Um, I just throw a little sploosh in there, and then we'll toss in the onion along with the peppers just to kind of cook it. Sauteed onions are my favorite. Yes. And also, I'm not a cook, so you don't need to like message me about what I'm doing wrong, because trust me, I know. Um, I just like to chop it up, cook it, make it edible, and we eat it. It's not my life. That should be my handle. We are not chefs. Do not message us about our horrible cooking methods. <laughs> we know. We are aware. This is just for fun. Exactly. Oh, and here comes husband number one. Well, actually, <laughs> this is an ill husband. <laughs> this is not that kind of a show. <laughs> That's a different reality. That's a different series. show. Um, but yeah, that was Danielle's husband, Christian. You guys have met him already, I think, in one of the videos. Putting the baby. 
the sleeve. See what's going on over here. Yeah, I'm, I'm recording right now. Hey, watch your fingers, buddy. Get him. Let's go this way, Baba. Albums. Okay, and then go to, uh, have a Okay, right now we got the um, onion sauteing with the peppers that Danielle just cut up. I wish you guys could smell it because it smells amazing and it's sizzling. And I'm just gonna sprinkle a little bit of the seasoning like across my They're starting to, you can start to see it's a little translucent. translucent. Full we'll translucent. Clam. We'll, we'll see how well that spice combo I made turned out when we made it. Hey, don't get out of there. There's a hot pot of meat in there. It's not. Yeah, hot pot of meat. A yeah. lot of people like to use crock pots just in the winter. They like it more for warm foods and soups and chilies and that kind of stuff. But honestly, in the summer when it's hot outside, instead of heating up your kitchen with the ovens, yeah. Throw something in the crock pot, you're not going to heat up your kitchen as much. It's going to be low maintenance and easy, especially with little kids and families. So I definitely recommend using your crock pot in the summer just as much as you do in the winter or even more sometimes. What are you screeching about? You hungry little fella? Go. Yeah. So Danielle just asked me a question. She has the chicken and she's over there kind of shredding it and mixing it around. And the fajitas and onions are pretty much sauteed down. And she said, what did you say? What was your question? So she's wondering if we want to go ahead and mix the onions and peppers in with the fajitas. Or kind of do it like, um, if you want it, put it on top. Yeah. Which maybe, like since our uh, kidlets aren't big pepper eaters, yeah. maybe we should keep it separate. I think, oh my gosh. And so this <laughs> right now is happening. I'm going to owe Danielle um, a roll of, oh, can't forget the lime. Hello. I'm going to owe Danielle a roll, a couple rolls of <laughs> paper towels because baby Sasquatch is, um, well, they're keeping him busy. That's for sure. Yeah, you know, that's totally fine. I should get him wet. He can mop. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> could spray the floor with some vinegar and you could just wipe it up. Um, yeah, so anyway, there's the crumbs part of our crumbs over coffee. So, yeah, I think any... Either way would be fine, but if you have people that don't like peppers and you're making fajitas, they're probably best to keep them separate. So then you won't have to be like, ew, I can't eat that because that's touching my chest. You know, um, yeah, so it's looking and smelling delicious still. It's gonna look close up on. Good to go. We got some shredded shredded. It looks actually I'm not gonna use that word, but um it looks Juicy? It's nice and tender. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna. Okay. Juicy and tender. Not gonna say the M word. The awkward M word. Um, a little bit of lime. Little lime. Little lime is awesome because it helps those flavors pop on your tongue. It really makes it taste like fajitas. I feel like if I forget the lime, I'm like, what's missing? It's yeah, so simple, something. but it totally makes a huge difference. And then over there we have our lovely toppings. We have the pickled We've got gallo, our pickled de gallo. The guac. It's delicious. And the shredded cheese. And this and the whole bowl of cheese. Oh, the traps are waiting. Alright, alright, folks, let's dish it up and see what it looks like. And then, uh, we have this little boy. What are you doing? And the bambino. And the bambino getting into paper towels. Alright. Okay, so it's about ready to eat. Um, we've probably been talking it up. And notice there are no tortillas. So this is kind of like fajita sands. Yeah. The, um, tortillas. So, I don't know, let's see. Uh, how would shall we do? Let's start with a little chicken, eh? We're doing paper plates tonight because I don't want to do as many dishes. I like it. I got, I got like other stuff I'd rather do. Than and the paper, so they all, uh... And I'm sorry, everybody that's super into like not using paper stuff. I love trees. I'll plant one. I'll plant a tree for, you know. For heat of yeah. sake. <laughs> for the sake of not having to do dishes. I'm saving on but water. But at least it's biodegradable. Yeah, yeah, and I'm saving and on saving water. water. So you gotta choose your battles, right? Yeah, yeah. Alright. I don't know. We'll do a little blop of bean. There's my carbohydrate. Unless I break into the chips. And then, uh, you know, just throw a little, a little something something on top. So if you wanted to do this paleo style, you might want yes. to, depending on whether or not you include dairy into that regimen, you might want to skip on the cheese. 
Um, I know some people don't do legumes as well if they're eating paleo, so yeah, you might also want to skip on that. Keep out legumes, don't yeah, they? I think. Yeah. Um, some people. But I don't. Some people do. There's a broad spectrum of paleo. Um, yeah. I do. Yeah. I've been doing Abel James's wild diet. Anybody know uh, the? He he does a podcast called um, Fat Burning Man. Super good. Really inspiring. Interviews really really cool people. Um, and he's got a, a cookbook out called The Wild Diet, and I really, really like it. And I'm kind of a nerd when it comes to like that kind of stuff. I like to read all about nutrition and everything. I find it super, super interesting. So if you're looking for something that's kind of low carb, but yeah, it's like basically living off the land. Like, you know, like a fruits, paleo diet, hunter-gatherer yeah. kind of yes, style. Yes, yes. Granted, I don't have to kill my food or you know, dig it out of the ground. You can buy it still. But it's just trying to eat as close to nature as possible. Um, yes, and I'm very into the paleo diet either. I, Gary doesn't really agree with me when he gluten. I eat it, but it makes my belly ache. So I think coming on in the future, we're going to start kind of doing some reviews of different recipes and different cookbooks and that kind yes. of stuff and doing the same one so we both can try it out and see what works for us and what doesn't work for us and how we like it and how we don't like it. Um, doing something maybe weekly or bi-weekly, something like that and sharing them with you and being honest because we're, uh, <laughs> because we're not going to um, tell you that something's fantastic and it tastes like bark. So are you just, helping? This is what's happening right now in our kitchen. We have the one-year-old and the almost five-year-old playing with the paper towels. So we're going to have to also plant another tree <laughs> with this business. But sometimes when you're cooking, you just let it happen instead of screaming babies. Whatever keeps them entertained. Pretty much. We'll still use them. So yeah, so I um, need to get some of this awesome grub, but... If you're into this, check us out. Subscribe below. Give us a thumbs up. And if you don't like it, you don't have to thumbs down us. Just, yeah, just move on. Yeah, just go to a different. <laughs> if you don't like us, we might not be for you, and you will find what is for you somewhere else. But please no nasty comments. Nothing that's not family friendly. We're here just to have fun and share lives with you guys. Um, and if there's something you want to see us do, you can share that with us. Yeah. And we'll try to do it. We do live in two different states. We're in Montana right now. I live in Utah and I'll be coming back, but we're just so gonna try to keep this going and doing our reviews and our adventures together and separate at the same time. Yes. Um, so yeah, so just like us, subscribe, and let us know what's going on, what you think. Bye. Bye. And dinner time. Dinner time.